at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. It's a great place to eat. PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Once again, the star of our show, the one and only football great, Hall of Famer, a man who's an incredible actor, and that I found out today he's directed as well, Mr. Fred Dreyer. Thank you so very much, Mike Horn. It's great to see you uh, sober once again. I'm here. I get, now listen, I, I, before we move on here with this, uh, whatever the heck we're talking about, there's yeah. a shot of Mrs. Uh, Catherine Webb right here. Here. There, now you something? can see, isn't she something else there? She She's in a else? bathing suit, in case you don't have us on our uh, website, crntalk.com. Go to YouTube and put forward slash Fred Dreyer. You can see the uh, the sh- video from the show today. But uh, yeah, she, uh, is she is there in a uh, bikini, apparently from her Miss America win. Apparently a bikini. I went, did she wear that to the football game? Yeah, she wears court? that She wears that uh, at the school. <laughs> That's her school <laughs> bikini. <laughs> And, uh, and oh, I see the me, briefcase there. Yeah, yes, it, 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 and believe me, you know, uh, you gotta see where she hides her books. <laughs> anyway, she is quite a lovely she Miss is, America. She is fabulous, and she handles it very well. And, and the comment that she made. Uh, hey, it's okay to comment if there's a beautiful. Ca- she was very flattered, and she's got class. And I can tell already that she would be a, a, probably the, the third Mrs. Dreyer. She would. Th- yeah. I didn't know there were two. Well, there's there's been one, but uh, I'm always keeping the space open for that. (laughs) I'm always keeping the space open for that special someone. And then in her, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could now. If if we were married, and we might be, and we can't tell what'll (laughs) happen. I might go down to Alabama and and and, uh, go behind the Crimson Tide. Well, I'll 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 swim. I'll I'll go to New Orleans and I'll swim around the coastline. Then I'll come up and sneak up on her. Well. Good, but what I would do, or you could buy a ticket just next to the no, game while no, her no, boyfriend's no, playing. No. When she realizes that I swam from Louisiana, that's going to be a deal. That's, right? the, that's the that's the deal maker, mm-hmm. and she's going to tell the J A, uh, you know, the airport guy. That's it. Yeah, I'm going with uh, Hunter. Uh, but now, um, he, here's the deal. Uh, we're we're listening to Ben Shapiro clock. Back to the show, everybody. The five, yeah, whatever we were doing. He's written a book called Bullies, and he was he's, on Sean Hannity's show. He's written a book show. called Bullies, and he's on Sean. He's, he's uh, talked uh, about uh, Dan Savage and Brian Wynn. Some of the George bullies. George Stepanopoulos yeah. and, and, and Richard Trumka, the AFL-CIO, a uh, union the bully. And now, so uh, here's the last two, and here is number five, Tommy. Some of these groups out there that have paid enormous amounts of money uh, and it is now institutionalized, and you discuss this in great detail in the book, and that is that they monitor every word of every conservative, and they try and target them to silence them, and you put David Brock at number two. You know, Sean, you know this better than anybody. David Brock, who's the head of Media Matters uh, and deeply involved with the Obama administration, the White House meets with Media Matters on a regular basis, and they really do. They monitor everything conservatives say, and then they launch astroturf boycotts. This is what they did with Rush Limbaugh. They created an astroturf boycott around Sandra Fluck when it made no difference whatsoever what Rush said, and he apologized for it. Didn't matter. They kept pushing for it regardless of what happened, and they kept pushing and kept pushing. And then the Obama administration got involved, and Obama himself went out there and started pushing forward with calling Sandra Fluck personally. You know, when Piers Morgan, there's a petition to get rid of Piers Morgan, then Obama sees the necessity to come out and talk about free speech. But when Rush Limbaugh is being attacked, then he feels the necessity to come out and attack Rush Limbaugh. Uh-huh. Uh, that's but, but, a good point. But, but do you see what happens here, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen? I know you're way ahead of me on this. Is that this is what, this is the business model. They have all of these little Indians out there working away, setting the narrative for the party, and the party looks at it and says, let's attack women. Let's attack uh, Romney about being out of touch and rich. Let's set, let's do this. Let's set uh, these three things, uh, health care, women, abortion, their, 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 uh, their personal lives, and, and the middle class. Uh, and uh, and uh, why do uh, rich bankers have all this money? So let's take these three things and let loose David Brock, Richard Trumka, Dan Savage, Brian Williams, and George Stephanopoulos to drive it home and, and set the narrative. This is what the Republicans are up against, and they don't know how to fight it. You think that they would take a look at the machinery and say, you know something? Here's how we're going to do this. Here's how we're going to do it. And, and they can't do it 
because they're too lame and cowardly. Now, this last little bite here. Do we have time for this last? Yeah, you do. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. This last bite here is uh, President Obama, and uh, this is Shapiro telling us uh, who the number one biggest bully is. This is our final uh, in the countdown is number one. It has to do with Obama's smear tactics. We saw a lot of this in the campaign and post-campaign. It's a never-ending campaign with him. And it was Biden using the race card. It was class warfare. Uh, every election is about racism. Republicans hate women. It's about Republicans only care about the rich. These tactics are always used. They seem to work. They, they see do. they're effective. They do. Mitt Romney lost because in the public mind he was a bad guy. Not because he was wrong on policy, not because Barack Obama is a good president. Everyone knows he sucks. It's because everyone thought that Mitt Romney was a bad guy, and that's because of the race card, the sex card, and all of the in the right. class warfare. Last question. Card. How do Republicans counter the bully? Because I agree with you. I think that you're making really valid points. They're very good at the demonization. How would you counter it? We can't be civil with them. We can't. I mean, the, the, we have reached the end of bipartisanship. We've reached the end of civility. This is like the Geneva Conventions. These people are out of uniform. Once they exit the realm of civility, they are now fair game. And it's enough playing fair with them. It's enough having the moral high ground. We've had the moral high ground. It means that we lose. We need to start fighting back and fighting back hard. See, there it is. That's what they got to do. That's what That's the Republican it. Party does not know how to do. This guy should be hired. Ben Shapiro should be hired by the GOP as the as the head. Get rid of Reince Priebus. This is the guy that should set he should the tone. Run the party, yeah. He should set the tone. End of civility, and you better start fighting because, folks, you're not going to have any civility. Or we're, how politely we we are as we walk up the gangplank to the guillotine. That uh, Paul LePage, the uh, new uh, governor for Maine, certainly tells it like it is when he told fishermen that, uh, you know, Obama came out with his family, but the fishermen didn't get any help from him. And he said, I'd tell Obama to go to some place where, you know, he shouldn't go. He later yeah. apologized for the comment, but you can figure out where he told him to go.